letter was posted all over. <laughs> yeah, we met um, working for um, a national art history project called StoryCorps. And uh, yeah, we met That's listening to people. Together. We have to do something. We have decided together to sort of embark on this investigation of sort of exploring stories at home. And um, the Laundry Rent Project kind of gave us the timeline to do that and to push us to sort of produce those stories within a matter of months. It was our first installation with the project that became Housing as a Human Right. And core to Housing as a Human Right is about connecting diverse communities around housing, land, and the dignity of a place to call home. So the idea was that, um, was always that we would able to bring stories together from people that sort of maybe look different or seem different who are all connected by what we perceive as a universal aspiration for home. We went to South Africa in 2010 and um, engaged in a process of uh, building with about between 40 and 60 different individuals and community-based organizations and social movements throughout the townships in South Africa. And with that, we, we went to our friends at Nomadic Wax and we created this, I don't know how long it is, like an hour? Yeah, an hour long mixtape. And it's just anecdotes and sound bites and bits of, um, of people from around the world kind of sharing their story. Everyone has a right. The Philadelphia residency was a collaboration between the Laundromat Project Asian Arts Initiative and the Visual Artist Network. And it was really fascinating because it was our first experiment to try to do a lot of interviews in, in other languages um, and try that out, you know, which, which has its own challenges. The real joy of it was creating these town hall meetings where um, we were able to share stories that we had recorded in New York and in South Africa and other places. It was really kind of a rich discussion that had a, um, a really positive impact on the trajectory of the project and hopefully the experience for people who came. The chapter in my mind, so later down the we had also been involved in sort of the Occupy movement and the growth of that network. And so, you know, we're creators and, and, and artists, but we, we're also, you know, organizers and sort of bring that to bear to either, you know, help collaborate in organizing community or organizing other cultural workers. So right after the storm, there wasn't really anyone organizing other people that were going out and shooting. And a lot of what we wanted to do is to create a hub where, where these stories could live. And we called it Storyline, Sandy Storyline, partly because we had created a, an actual storyline that people could call to record their stories and started inviting people to text in their cell phone images and then within like two weeks started a website where people could upload their story and their images and their video. It's been interesting doing Sandy's storyline. You know, every couple weeks we get an email from someone that says, I love what you're doing, how do I do this in, in my community? And you know, we Following hurricanes, floods, like you name it, like after something happens somewhere in the world, we, someone sends us an email. And so we're really trying to to develop our platform so that it can be redeployed for any community that wants to share stories, particularly after after a crisis. Um, so we're developing Storyline, which we're hoping will be this um, suite of tools that communities can use to tell stories and engage their community members. And stories. The biggest thing, it sounds corny to say that, but it's all about listening. And I think that's like the fundamental lesson that we are constantly relearning is how to actively listen and how to listen um, with deep understanding and deep intention. So we're trying to figure out how we can use these sort of values of listening and participation um, and uh, justice and equity. How can we build that into sort of a website platform that can support that style of storytelling? So it's an open question and we'll see how it goes.